Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to another Austin 360 studio session. I'm your host, Serena Hicks, and I am crazy excited about today's episode. When we first started out, we had a different uh, act in mind who canceled last minute, and local hometown hero Julian Acosta agreed to step in and give our first ever encore performance. He was already scheduled to be in the audience because we have big news, so stay tuned for that at the end of the episode. Without further ado, thank you to our sponsors, Bud Light and Ticket City. Thank you to Julian Acosta of Austin, Texas. Here you go. <laughs> So I guess this song is when I discovered feelings. And uh, as a writer, you kind of have to be in touch with your feelings. Or, uh, it doesn't really work. And uh, it's about that depression you get. I think everyone in their life just gets the blues. And the minute you just embrace it and go, you know, I am effing sad right now. And then you let it go. Weight goes away. But the feeling you will kind of always remember when you get it in. I shot the breeze in the morning. Lord, I had no. In every box of matches, a record spinning round it. Ooh, 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 ooh. The dreams of the echoes it blew my mind it. forever, forever. day. Um, I'm going to tune down real quick. Um, can I turn the volume down real quick so I can tune this? I got to tune this down. 
And while I'm doing that, this song, I met this couple called the, their last name, this family, the, the Hollingsworth. And they are just beautiful people. And they're beautiful because they got the most amazing love story. When they were 16, they met in Louisiana. Robert and Donna did. And, and uh, to quote Mr. Hollingsworth verbatim, he goes, man, I took one look at her and I was smitten. And uh, 16 is when they met. And uh, by the time that it was three months later, they, uh, they were married. And would you believe me if I told you that they're still together? I don't know how old they are, but they're old enough to be grandparents. And uh, every time I talk to them, they're in a different country and just live in the most beautiful life. And they, uh, they're still rolling hard, man. They're still in love, and it's beautiful because every morning, she, they, they, the first thing they do is, you know, they, they talk to each other. And, you know, they, it's like the first time almost. And so I was doing some drinking with them, and I go, man, you guys, one day I'm going to write y'all a song. And, and so I, as a writer, have to kind of put myself in a perspective to where there has to be a story coming from me. Because I can tell a story, but the feeling's kind of channeling through me. And at least that's my perspective. And so I went and I, you know, tried to fall in love as much as I could. And I really let the juices as a writer just go, come on, man, there's got to be something out there that you can put together and do justice to this beautiful story. And so I wrote it and I, uh, you know, I performed it a couple times. And then I got real serious about it. And I had them and I talked to them. I go, hey, will you all go to lunch with me? Went and had sushi. And then... Uh, brought out the sheet music and I said, hey, here's this uh, song. And uh, with your permission, I'd like to call it Donna. And uh, gave them the lyric sheet and they looked at it and they thought it was a pretty good deal. And I mean, I love the song and uh, it's pretty cool to, to live stories and hear these stories and as a writer to be able to do it for a living. And uh, it's, it's pretty phenomenal. And so I'm just blessed to do that and I'm blessed to see that kind of love because we need that kind of love in the world. No matter who, no matter what, we just need that kind of love. And uh, with that, uh, I'm going to drink some tea. Cheers, and I'll sing you Donna. You know that 
Got my heart in your hand Little lady, I'm a better man Cause I know In my arms You're the keys of everything I'll always remember I'll never forget it The way I felt on the day that we met Cause oh how you sparkling and girl And oh how you shine My gypsy trap, girl, you're the end of the line Cause I know Thank you. So this other song, I uh, got myself addicted to smoking cigarettes. And I did it just to get the sensation for me to write a song about the toxicity of a relationship. And it's something that you know you don't need in your life but you can't help but be there. And we've all been there before. We've all been, in, 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 whether it be a bad friendship, whether it be a bad relationship, whether it be, I don't know, something that you really shouldn't be doing or isn't good for you. And the breakup to that is tough. And so I put myself in that element just because I was looking, for, I don't know what I was searching for, but I was searching for something. And I found this song. And... I smoked cigarettes for six months, and I smoked all kinds, you name it. My favorite were the cigarettos. They were the, uh, the really fancy kind, really smooth that went down. And uh, as soon as I made myself the promise that as soon as the song was done, I was gonna, I was gonna, finish, uh, I was gonna finish smoking cigarettes. And so uh, that's what I did. I finished the song, I stopped smoking cigarettes. I was sick for about two weeks. And uh, for a little while, you know, where I was drinking, I was like, man, it would be pretty good to have a cigarette right about now. And then uh, I just cut it. And now I look at a cigarette, and I'm like, man, that is pretty, I can't believe I did that. But I got a song out of it. You know that you're mine
Cause if I'm to believe Be what you and I can achieve And if I'm to let go Of the eyes on your lips Along with your coconut skin And all I ask you pretty please So the next song is Cinnamon. <laughs> In case you didn't know what was coming next. Um, thank you guys so much. This has been really nice. What a great Monday. Uh, following an amazing week, my older brother came in. Well, I guess we'll get to that. Cinnamon. <laughs> Cinnamon um, is about love. And it's one of those things that for me, it embarked like a quest to where I didn't really know exactly how to channel or really communicate the context of my writing. But that one kind of gave me some some hints and some clues. And then I was able to really kind of decipher the crack my own code. And uh, the feeling, so like let's say, you know, you got the water, I got my tea, you got a beer. Um, 
if I was to like walk up or sneak behind you and just put some cinnamon in your drink, you're gonna go, whoa, it's, it's, something's different. There's something in this drink, right? And uh, it's one of those spices that a lot of people know. And it changes it, much like love. When you feel it, you can't deny it. You really can't. You can try to, you can pretend to, you can do whatever in your power and your will to pretend to deny the fact, but it's there. And you decide what to do with it. You know, you can say no cinnamon, or you can say no love, but it's there, and you can't deny it. And it'll change it. It'll affect it. And you will say, you know what, I need a new drink. Or you know what, I need something else. And it doesn't matter the skin color. It doesn't matter your race. It doesn't matter what you do, who you are. You know it, and you're entitled to it. And you're entitled to it as much as you want and as little as you want. And that's, that's, that's my perception of, of that truth. And that's what the song is about. In the purest form of love, you know, it's, 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 it's innocent. And, the, you know, one of the best forms of sentiment is pure ground or pure sentiment. And so that kind of came together with this song. And you'll hear me sing the OO parts. And how many times, you know, like, for example, I'm not going to say any names, but... Like you, if, if you uh, take yourself back to being a teenager and how many times did you have your crush and they come around and you're like, oh, and, and you, the word vomit induces. And so you do, you, what else can you say? Or you, you're, you tell somebody, you ask them, you go, hey, tell me about this love. And they go, well, I, I just know I love you. I just know. And so, you know, it's just like, you know, this thing where you're like, I, I don't know how to explain it. And it's a feeling. And that, you know, that's the feeling of. And uh, that's what cinnamon's about. And uh, it'll be available. So I guess we'll get into that. We'll get into that. <laughs> um. Yes, you got me like oh 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 
so fine you dress down and worry about the time said you got me like oh 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 I need your body And I'm afraid that all of the stardust's not enough There's nothing left You're my last breath sipping on my love You got me like Oh, oh Oh, 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 oh. Cause I need your body And all of the stardust's not enough There's nothing left You're my last breath sipping on my love I think I, I did get the right microphone. That one's for you, Julian. Tick. It works, right? OK, one more round of applause for Julian, you guys. Thank you. All right. Got a few questions for you. Are you ready to share the good news? I mean, it's, it's I think you should share it. That sounds, that sounds like someone walking up your doorstep. Selling something? Yeah. No. Yes, yes, yes. It's just you. It's just you. So, um, so I just go out and say it. That's yeah. That's, so, yeah. So I signed with uh, a cool label, an, an indie label out of uh, out of Illinois, Independent Ear. So you signed a record deal. I did. Okay, we can clap now. I did. I did. I did. I did. Congratulations. Thank you. I feel like we all sort of know why. You're amazing. Uh, what's your <laughs> thank first? You, thank you, thank you. You're welcome. I love cinnamon. Tell us, is that is that the first single by chance? That is the that is the single that we will be releasing. We uh, tested it yesterday. Um, we did the Jelena Costa Day pool party and uh, just had a plan. And it's interesting because it was the first time it's ever been out, and you're like, whoa! And then you get to see the vibe, and you're like, oh, hey, we might have a good song. You have a great song. You know, thank thank you, thank you. Um, yeah. Um, I mean, did you, what, what kind of details are we going to get into? Well, you know? immediately, my first question, because I love cinnamon, because I just, I feel like it's just a, obviously it's me living in my head and opinions, but I'm like, it's just a good beach summer makeout song. Like, am I right? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. I'm like, that's, that's what it's about, right? Where do you write these songs? Like, is there a special space in your home? Are you at the coffee shop? How does Julian create his art? Well... The beautiful thing about now is that, you know, for the longest time I was doing the business and, you know, I had a little label and that I kind of created on my own, which really was like a, a stepping stone. And uh, that is now, so Capital City Records is now kind of more of like my promoter, really like to help out with whatever we need. But I really, really want to do is work with other artists in Austin mm -hmm. and go, hey, dude, let's do the same thing. And... Let's build something good for you. Um, and then, of course, you know, that's kind of, I, I phased out of that business. And the, the writing, the creativity was, was a little, uh, there's, there's such thing as bandwidth. Mm -hmm. 
so uh, it's funny how low the bandwidth gets when you're trying to do 100 million things. And uh, Independent of the Year came in, and uh, it's just been, it's like, oh, man, I get to be creative full time, just sing and write, perform, and just create. And I get a great team, really good people that just believe in what I'm doing. And we talk every day. It was a cool two-month process. And uh, I, I was like, man, I really like what's coming out of this guy's mouth. Like, this guy, this guy's saying some good stuff. And and I just didn't know what was going on. And the next thing you know, I'm like, whoa, whoa, OK, whoa, wow. And so it'll be, Cinnamon will be available July 7th. I got a show at the Mohawk July 8th. And it's going to be distributed with uh, Caroline through Universal Music. And awesome. Yeah. July 7th is a Friday. So mark your calendars. Friday, July 7th. And July 8th is a Saturday. So what a perfect concert. Yeah. It, you know, it's funny how life puts things into place where, like, you know, you're just like, oh, wow. Ooh, yes, cool. thank and you. things happen. And I'm like, score, score, score. Score. So and that's uh, your next concert in Austin? Mm-hmm. July 8th? July 8th. And uh, Mohawk? Mohawk. Okay. Uh -huh. And, uh, you know, it's just cool. It's such a shift. Oh, my God. Like, I'm still kind of getting used to it. Like, oh, cool. Because, like, I feel like, you know, if, if I thought I was on top of my stuff before, like, I, hey, dude, I need this, I need this. I'm like, okay, okay, cool. So if I thought I was working pretty hard before, I'm working 100 times faster. And I want to give a quick shout out to my PA, my new PA, uh, Tia, who is just she is. Oh. She is awesome. Yeah, yeah. I've, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been talking with Tia. I would she, like to confirm. Oh, my God. I'm just like, really? Yeah. Whoa, whoa. Okay, cool. I feel like Penny Lane. Is that Penny's? Help me, 007 people. Penny? Penny has a last name? Oh, oh. Yeah, uh, that yeah, one. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't, you know, I watch enough James Bond movies where I feel like I should know, but. I don't. Okay. Can yeah. we talk about, Kaylee wants to know about Julian Acosta Day. Julian Acosta Day. Acosta Day. Julian um, Acosta Day. <laughs> Third annual just happened, right? Uh, about the party? Yeah. Itself? Yeah. Um, oh, man, it was amazing. The people at the W just really helped out. Um, my team really kind of came in and just, I mean, really made everything just effortless for me. Um, it was like, hey, what do you want? And, you know, I mean, at the end of the day, I'm a Texan, you know, so I like to get involved with what I can and really kind of, like, put my name on it. Um, and... Uh, I mean, I minimal effort. I was more in charge of like rallying my family and like, hey guys, we got this set up. I kind of screwed up on the date, cause uh, yeah, cause so it ended up being on Father's Day, and I work in numbers, and then just, <laughs> it ended up, oh guys, I screwed up. But I'm sure your dad was proud. Cool party. Happy oh, Father's Day, yeah. Dad! I threw a party for me. Yeah, 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 right. <laughs> well, it's funny, cause like you know, we were sitting there, and, and you know, us, our us siblings were talking, and we look back, and we're you know, my mom, my mom and father, they're the cutest. Cutest couple. Wait, are they together? Mm-hmm. Anyone? What? Amazing. They're, Amazing. They're the cutest thing. Your parents are still married? Uh-huh. They they they're the cutest thing. And it's funny because you know, we kind of leave they we kind of leave them alone because they just they want to enjoy their company and they really want to sit back and go, holy cow, our kids are having fun and they're getting along with each other. They don't suck. And <laughs> <laughs> and one just signed a record deal. Yeah. And all of my siblings are awesome. They're all really cool people. And I mean, it's, it's yeah. Awesome. I want to take it right back to where are you writing your songs, Julian? Oh, where am I writing my songs? Is anyone else? I, I feel like you're yeah. like hiding in coffee shops. No, I, uh, I have three notebooks. And then I have three folders in a, uh, in a Google Drive. And so the first, the first folder is ideas. So it's random ideas. And then the third folder, I call it the... Um, uh, for the, what the, like the farm league. So like, and then I call the next one, I call that the majors. So I use sports terms. And so I'm like, okay, this song was maybe ready to be tested out with the band. And then, uh, then every now and then there's songs where I go, well, it's probably not a good idea. And then I bring it back down to the majors. And then, uh, I mean, the, the space, it's anywhere. I literally write songs everywhere. Um, I, I'll, I'll, I'll record a melody in my, in my, uh, on my phone. And so let's say I'm like, you know, I'll, I'll play like a, right? And then I'm like, ooh. And so I'll, you know, put out the measures and then uh, the time signature to it. 
and then I'll record it on my phone, and then I'll put it in my speakers. And then, I mean, it could be anything as headphones at the gym, or it could be anything to like driving in the car, and I'm like coming up with lyrics to it. And then I put pen to paper, and then I, so I mean, literally, it's anywhere. I, I don't have a, a I, I guess the answer is I don't have, I really don't have like a place where I go, this is where I write. Austin? So, yeah, Austin. 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 I do, Austin. This is a Julian watch. I, if you see him working, send us a picture. True story. I want to I see Julian in his natural habitat. Hashtag Austin 360 Studio Sesh. I, I do do a lot of riding on the tour bus. Okay. So I do. I, I live on a tour bus. I kind of challenge accepted. City of Austin. Yeah. Find me Julian Acosta. Hashtag Austin 360 Studio Sesh, and we'll have fun with that. I have to end us. If people want to find you, Instagram, Facebook. Yeah, Instagram, Facebook. Um, you know, uh, JulianAcostaMusic.com is a great one. Instagram, Julian Acosta Music. That is a good one. Um, Julian B. Acosta on Twitter, and then uh, Julian Acosta Official on Facebook. And and then Snapchat is uh, music by Julian. And I like Snapchat because you get to get creative. There's like all the little icons, Can't the animals you? that you kind of get to do, <laughs> right? Like, you can get creative, yeah. Okay, you guys. This was another Austin 360 studio session. This episode was presented by Ticket City, and this is the one and only Austin son, Julian Acosta. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Thank you.